Hey there, it's Pastor T with another Daily Psalmanac, where I hope to help you grow in the practice of prayer through a deepening relationship with the prayer book of the Bible, the Psalms. And today we are reading, reflecting upon, and praying back to the Lord, Psalm 83. I invite you to follow along in your own Bible at home or to listen as I read. O God, do not keep silence. Do not hold your peace or be still, O God. For behold, your enemies make an uproar. Those who hate you have raised their heads. They lay crafty plans against your people. They consult together against your treasured ones. They say, come, let us wipe them out as a nation. Let the name of Israel be remembered no more. For they conspire with one accord. Against you they make a covenant. The tents of Edom and the Ishmaelites, Moab and the Hagrites, Gabal and Ammon and Amalek, Philistia and the inhabitants of Tyre, Asher also has joined them. They are the strong arm of the children of Lot. Do to them as you did to Midian, as to Sisera and Jabin at the river Kishon, who were destroyed at Endor, who became dung for the ground. Make their nobles like Oreb and Zeb, all their princes like Zeba and Zalmanah, who said, Let us take possession for ourselves of the pastors of God. O oh my God, make them like whirling dust, like chaff before the wind. As fire consumes the forest, as the flame sets the mountains ablaze, so may you pursue them with your tempest and terrify them with your hurricane. Fill their faces with shame, that they may seek your name, O Lord. Let them be put to shame and dismayed forever. Let them perish in disgrace, that they may know that you alone, whose name is the Lord, are the Most High over all the earth. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Psalm 83 is another one of these um, passages of the scripture where it seems to give almost a, a kind of gazetteer, a sort of geographical index of all of these different nations and peoples that surrounded and encompassed the Israelites in the ancient world. Edom and the Ishmaelites, Moab and the Hagrites, Gabel and Ammon and Amalek, and on and on it goes. What are we to make of such things? How can we own a prayer like Psalm 83 for ourselves? We'll get to the heart of what's going on here. The psalmist, as he's offering this prayer to the Lord, he recognizes that all around him, that all of the, these nations, that all of these places, that none of them are holy or pure. Some of those places that he mentions are um, historically pagan areas, but others of them also had large populations of believers. And yet in both of those places, he was able, the psalmist sees that there are those who are opposing the Lord and his work, indeed who are opposing his people. And as he prayerfully brings his geography before the Lord, then he is able to see God's work within those very places. And I would challenge you um, to do the same thing as you come before the Lord to remember before him not just a generic earth, but to pray for your community and for your neighboring communities. Lord, Bear Lake and Calava, Brethren and Manistee, all of these places, which can be at once places of bane to God's people, but also places of blessing, which are ultimately areas and geographies where God is at work, where he has preserved a remnant of his people for himself, where his gospel continues to go forth, where he is continuing to call people to faith in himself. These things are not um, inconsequential or unimportant to the Lord. Remember, we have a Savior who took on flesh and dwelled in the neighborhood, as Eugene Peterson put it in the message. He dwells in these physical places. He uses our concrete locations where we live in order to be a conduit of his presence for the sake of the world. So don't, think, uh, don't be so spiritual that these actual geographical places think that that doesn't matter, that God meeting us in those places is unimportant. It's so important. It's where God greets you. So bring them before him, pray for them, that he might be even more present in Arcadia and throughout the world. Let us pray. Gracious God, we thank you for the place and the places where you have placed us. And we pray, Lord, that we might bring these places before you. We do pray for Manistee County, Benzie County, for Frankfurt and Manistee, for Arcadia and Pleasanton, for Joyfield Township, and for all of our surrounding townships and towns, Lord. We thank you that you have been faithful to uh, provide for yourself word and sacrament as your gospel continues to go out. And we pray, Lord, that in every nook and cranny of our nation and indeed throughout the whole world, your good news would go forth and bear fruit. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. And now may the Lord who dwells in all the world go with you in your particular place this day.
Go in his peace.